Hi friends, we have to create five digit numbers divisible by three using 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Right, we have six digits. Right, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We have to create five digit numbers, but they should be divisible by three. Repetition is not allowed. Right, so when we have to create five digit numbers, either they will include 0 or they will not include 0. These are the only two options. Right, either, either the number, the five digit number will have some zero or it will not have a zero. Let's look at the cases where it will not have a zero first. Right, if it doesn't have a zero, what does that mean? The number will have one, two, three, four, five. Clearly, one, two, three, four, five. So the number created by one, two, three, four, five is a multiple of three because see, three is already there. Four plus two is six and five plus one is six. So the sum of 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 is a multiple of 3. Right. So, so we have to create without 0 all the numbers. The numbers that we can create without 0. How many numbers will we get? We have 5 slots. Right. 5 slots. And we have 5 numbers that we can put in these slots. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Clearly, we have 120 numbers. Right, without zero. Right. Now let's say we have to include zero. Right. If we have to include zero, then which number we can remove? See, one. We cannot remove one, two, four, or five because they are not multiples of five. Those are multiples of three. The sum of one plus two plus three plus four plus five is is a multiple of three. If you remove any of these numbers either 1, 2, 4 or 5, it will no longer be a multiple of 5, a multiple of 3. Because, because if you add 4, 0 doesn't add anything. Right? If you remove 3 and add 0, then the remaining are still, for example, 4 plus 2 and 5 plus 1. These are multiples of 3. But if you remove 2 or 1 or 4 or 5 and put a 0 instead, then the sum will not be a multiple of 3. Right? So if 0 has to be brought in, then only 3 can get out, nothing else. Right guys, please be careful here because the other numbers, if you remove any other number, if you remove, let's say for example 2, right, then for example, then what is the total earlier, what was the total, 5 plus 4, 9, 9 plus 3, 12, 12 plus 2, 14 plus 1, 15, right. If you remove 2 and add 0, it becomes 30. Or if you remove 5, then it becomes 10 and add 0, it will be 10. If you remove 4, 10 minus 4, it becomes 11. Right. So there is no way of removing any other numbers. Right. We can remove only a multiple of 3, which is 3 here. If you remove 3, then it becomes 12 and add 0, then it will still be 12. And the number, the number that is created with those 5 digits will still be a multiple of 3. Right. So only 0 can, 0 can be replaced only with 3. That means again the 5 digit options. We have we can create with 0, 1, 2, and 4, and 5. How many such numbers we can create? The first number cannot be 0, right, because it's a 5 digit number. So for the first digit, first digit, we have 4 options, right? 1, 2, 4, and 5. Again, from the second onwards, we have 4, 3, 2, 1, right? If you take, if we, if we put any of those 4 options, on them for the second. So for example, if the first digit we have chosen as 5, then for the second digit, we have options of 0, 1, 2, and 4. Again, 4 options. If the first digit we have chosen as 4. For the second one, we have 0, 1, 2, and 5. Right. For the second one, we have 4 options. Third one, obviously, we will have 3. Then 2. Then 1. Please be careful. It is not 5 factorial. It is slightly lesser than 5 factorial because the first digit cannot be 0. So, if, I, if it is 5 factorial, if it is not 0, for example, if it was some 6, then we would have got another 5 factorial. But because it is 0, first digit, we have only 4 options. And then 4, 3, 2, 1. So total is 96. Right. So without 0, we have 120. That is plain 5 factor. And with 0, we have 96. So the total number of ways, the total number of such arrangements is 120 plus 96, which is 216. Basically, we can create 216 numbers. 216 numbers, which are divisible by 3. And and are formed 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Right. This is a nice problem. Hope you understood the philosophy of replacing 0 and 3.
right? Because the numbers are small, we don't need to even worry about multiples of three and all. We can manually check. But if the numbers are huge, then this concept is useful, right? Which number can be replaced, right? Yes. Hope you like this. Thank you.